from being completely out of the fight at UFC 278 to pulling off a comeback for the ages, Leon, Rocky Edwards is loving life as the champ. And with UFC 286 just around the corner, the Brit claims it's going to be a totally different fight. The last time we saw these guys square off was back at UFC 278 in Salt Lake City. Kamaru Usman dominated Leon, and had the fight gone to the judges, there's absolutely no doubt the Nigerian would have walked away as champion. I'm not joking. And he gets him again, easy this time. Keep up in the beginning depends on explosiveness and speed and a lot of other things. And that's Edwards didn't even come close. Everything he did was shut down immediately by the champ. But that stunning head kick in the last minutes of the fight, absolutely incredible. To this day, I have no idea where Leon pulled that out of. God, I mean, no. that is a dejected... Oh, oh. He shows him the left to hide it. Well, he's done this before. Oh, my goodness. This is a great yes. combination. He sets it up by showing him the left. Oh! And a perfect left high kick. It was one of the most beautiful knockouts I've seen in my entire life. Everything from the way he baited Kamaru into dropping his guard to whipping that kick right on target. It was perfect. And as he gets ready to fight him in front of his home crowd at UFC 286, the crowd isn't the only advantage Rocky has in this matchup. In the beginning depends on explosiveness and speed and a lot of other things. The and that's fade. And I don't even know what the next level is when huh. you're that good. Edwards. Oh, nasty shot to the body by the oh, champion. What an elbow. But did not happen. Leon claims he's super confident about it since he hasn't lost a single fight in the UK. Pro, amateur, you name it. Rocky hasn't lost a single fight. And if you ask me, that's going to give him a vital boost going into this matchup. He also has momentum from their last meeting. But despite all the heroics, I still can't count Usman out. Sure, he might have got rocked by that glorious kick. But let's not forget, the Nigerian nightmare dominated the entire fight. Let's him go and then goes right back to the legs where he can take him back down. Taking down altitude again. tent. I talked about getting here early, but we didn't. I didn't factor in. And that's why I think Edwards should be a bit more cautious in his approach. I understand why he's so pumped up. I mean, just think about it. The guy literally went from having the worst night of his career to beating the number one pound for pound fighter at the promotion. That's enough to get anyone fired up. And while Rocky knows very well his opponent is an absolute unit, I think he needs to slow down a little. He's unbeaten in the UK and has the home crowd on his side. Leon Edwards almost took Waters' head off there. Leon Rocky Edwards! Win streak of Vicente Luque. Both fighters exhausted. Against the veteran campaigner, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. Leon Rocky Edwards! But this is Kamaru Usman we're talking about. He's wiped the entire division clean and has years of experience fighting at the very top of the promotion. We already knew he was the best in the world at 170 pounds. More affirmation tonight. And with Khabib oh, Nurmagomedov, he's Burns. surviving. Oh, oh. Usman switched southpaw. That's it. Out of all the superlatives. Oh. And by announcing how it's going to be a different fight and whatnot, Leon is just burying himself with expectations. Because when it boils down to the night of action, he's going to feel that pressure as well. It'll just be a game of nerves. And Kamaru, well, he doesn't have anything to lose now. Edwards has everything to lose going into this fight. So yeah, I think it's good Leon is building the hype and making headlines. But he should be a bit more cautious about it. I'm sure the last thing he wants is having the title stripped from him after getting knocked out cold in front of his home crowd. Now, now that would be pretty embarrassing. But still, Leon is different this time around. It's like he's only looking at the positives. And that can end up being really dangerous for Kamaru. Like, you know how I just said the Nigerian Nightmare dominated the entire fight at UFC 278? Well, Edwards thinks he deserves credit for remaining calm and composed, even though he was out of it. I mean, when you look at it that way, it does make a lot of sense. Call it his mental IQ or whatever. Even while being deep into the fifth round, Rocky sort of knew he could turn things around with 
with just one move. Plus, there's no way you could call that kick a fluke or something. The champ knew exactly what he was doing, so it does show a lot of character, heart, and determination. And yeah, like I said before, that's going to be giving him a lot of confidence as he steps into the octagon at UFC 286. Even pro fighters like Gilbert Burns think Rocky has a bit more edge going into the trilogy fight against Usman. It's really hard to name a favorite at this point, though. What Rocky did at UFC 278 was exceptional. I agree. But at the same time, Kamaru's been doing that for years now. And let's be real here, people. It's not good to ignore the facts. Leon can argue all he wants about the altitude and whatnot, but the truth is, out of the 25 minutes, Kamaru controlled the fight for 24. And believe me, I'm not trying to take anything from Leon, but it just seems really difficult to see how things will be so different this time around. I mean, I get that he has the momentum and all, but Kamaru isn't in despair either. He knows how he had it in the bag, and that's going to make the equation a whole lot simpler for him. He just has to be a bit more careful, since Leon proved he has stunning fight IQ, but apart from that, things aren't really that different. It was a magical moment, but the chances of Lightning striking the same spot twice is highly unlikely. Plus, did you know Kamaru is still the betting favorite going into this fight? Yep, despite all the talk, Leon is a plus 205 underdog going into the matchup. On the other hand, UFC commentator Joe Rogan thinks Leon has what everyone calls the championship rub. What does Joe even mean by that? Well, the fact that Rocky was able to pull something out of the fire and score such a stunning knockout in the fifth round of the fight is going to give him conviction. The conviction to do it again. And since he's champion now, he has a certain level of confidence that comes from beating the number one guy in the weight class. I mean, regardless of how he won it or what happened at UFC 278, he's the champion now. Get it? But that's what Joe thinks. And while it does have some ground to it, I don't necessarily agree because Kamaru is built to dominate someone like Edwards. His elite wrestling and grappling is the perfect counter since Rocky is a bit weaker on the ground. Oh, and let's not forget, Usman doesn't even need any fireworks. He doesn't need to level the scores by knocking him out. He just needs to do what he did last time with one small adjustment. Go in there, control the fight, avoid getting hit in the face, and that's it. The title is his. Nothing fancy required. And if you ask me, I think that's what he's planning as well. All he has to do is avenge the loss, get the title, and he's out of there. Leon, on the other hand, has some additional pressure. He needs to prove it wasn't a fluke. Now, I'm not saying that head kick was a fluke or something. I think it was a brilliantly thought out move by Edwards. But whether you like it or not, there was a certain level of luck to it. And to prove everyone wrong, Leon will need to pull off something similar. He'll need to dominate this time around instead of edging a victory in the last round of the fight. So yeah, for Usman, it's simple. Do what you did last time. And for Rocky, well, he needs to actually control the fight this time around instead of pulling off a miracle. Either way, it's going to be a super entertaining matchup. And I don't know if you've heard or not, but there's also some news going around that Kamaru's knees are badly injured. So, who knows, Leon might just have an edge going into this matchup. Anyway, that's what Rocky is anticipating for UFC 286.